Hello and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. Now a game that I've been putting a fair bit of time into lately is GTFO. And a critical part of GTFO that many new players have no idea about is using the terminals. Using the terminals is pretty essential for a good run. And although you can just have one experienced player that knows how to do it, it really is a skill that everyone needs to learn at some point and it's not particularly difficult either. In this guide we are going to look at the different uses for terminals in GTFO and go through some tips and tricks to get the most out of them. I will include some gameplay examples at the end just to make things really clear. So terminals are used for three main functions. The first is to locate objectives so that you know what zones you have to enter and what zones you can leave alone. The second use is to list and locate items so you can regain your resources easily. The third use of terminals is only applicable in some expeditions when they'll be needed to complete objectives by reading log files or activating special commands. Like every item, box and room in GTFO, terminals have a number that can be seen here above the screen. This only comes into use for some expeditions. If you type in commands into a terminal, then you will get a list of all available commands for that terminal. As mentioned, some terminals, such as the reactor control in R3A3, have special commands. But this here will cover all of the basics that should be common to all terminals. The help command will bring up this information here, and it's mostly self-explanatory, but there are two handy hints. Pressing tab will autofill a command, so if I type in Q and then press tab, it will automatically enter query, because there's no other command that starts with Q. This is extremely useful when you have to quickly input commands under pressure or in combat, which sometimes you will have to do. You can also use the up arrow to cycle through previous commands that you've entered in the terminal, which is useful for similar reasons. The CLS command can be used to clear the screen to declutter it, which is pretty simple. And now we're going to get into the juicy stuff. So list. This is a crucial command that will show all items and inventory in the expedition. Now on its own, it's not that useful because you'll have no idea where exactly those items are, just that they exist. What you can do is write down a specific zone after list, such as list zone underscore 250. This will bring up a list of only the items in the zone that you mentioned. You can do this to double check if you've missed any loot, or check if there might be decent items and resources behind a nearby door. The zone you are in can be found plastered all around the environment if you need to find it out, and it's even going to be written on your map. So once you have a list of items, you can then use the ping command to pinpoint exactly where it is by typing ping followed by the item you want to find. This will literally put a locator ping on that object for a few seconds. You and your squad will be able to see it, along with the distance it is from you. A handy trick here is to then use the map to locate its exact position, because sometimes in larger zones or in foggy areas, even with a ping, it can be hard to find things. If you look in the direction of the ping and note the distance, you can then open up your map and measure out that distance pretty exactly. Each side of this square here represents 10 meters, so you can use this knowledge to estimate the exact position of the item that you're looking for. Now of course, the ping command will only work if the object is in the same zone as the terminal you are using. Sometimes, it's the other way around. You will have the name of an object or objective, but you will not know where it is. In this case, you would use the query command. This simply tells you what zone you can find the object in. You can also use this after listing an entire floor to find a specific item. Once you get to the zone the object is in, then you can use the ping command to pinpoint its actual location. Then we have the logs command, which will bring up any logs on the terminal. In Rundown 3 and beyond, this has become a minor method of delivering lore about the game world in some cases, but it's also used in several expeditions as a gameplay mechanic. Once you have the list of available logs, you will have to use the read command, followed by the exact name of the file that you want to read out, in order to see what that log contains. In some expeditions, the terminals will have other purposes as well. In R3A3, you have to find specific terminals which have logs containing a four-letter code word. You have to remember that word and then type it in after the reactor verify command in a central terminal in order to progress the mission. Let's look at some of the worked examples of using commands to easily navigate the start of R3A1, which acts as a bit of a tutorial and you can copy this process to get the hang of it. When I load in, I have an objective that involves locating NCR underscore A02. I will have to establish what zone that is in and head towards that zone. For this I can use the query command followed by ncr underscore a02 to find out what zone it's in, and in this case it can be found in zone 255. Each door tells me what zone is on the other side of it, 
and also what is beyond that zone. So this security door makes it pretty clear that zone 255 is through here, but my progress is blocked until I can find a specific yellow keycard. I can then use the terminal to query command the yellow keycard, and it tells me that I have to access zone 252. In this manner, using the terminal will prevent me from wandering aimlessly around the level, and I can potentially avoid encounters or rooms that don't even need to be accessed. Before I move out, I can list the zone that I'm in to see if there's anything left around in terms of useful resources. By doing this, I see that there's a tool refill and a medipack that I can grab. This zone is very small, so I can find them easily, but in larger or fog-filled zones, I could ping those items so my teammates could pick them up, as mentioned earlier. I hope this overview of using terminals was helpful, and it's a really important skill to learn and not that particularly difficult to master either. If you like this video, please consider subscribing or connecting with the 4FS community in our Discord server. I would like to thank our amazing Patreon supporters as well, and also you guys for watching till the end. I'm thinking of making some more videos for GTFO as well, so let me know if you would like anything specific in the comments below. I'll catch you next time, this is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.